Hey guys, what's up? It's Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training, and today we're going to be talking about how to stay inside the baseball. That's a buzzword that coaches love to use. You know, guys will be taking batting practice, and you'll hear the, the coach behind the cage, oh, stay inside the ball, keep your hands inside the ball. But what does that actually mean? I think a lot of hitters, they hear that all the time, but they might not fully understand what that means or how it is accomplished. It's one thing to tell them, hey, stay inside the baseball, but if you never actually teach it to them, then and how are they going to learn? So in this video, I wanted to share with you uh, some mental cues, some mental triggers that you can do to help keep yourself inside the baseball. So I just have a baseball on a tee right here. Um, and the very first thing about you know staying inside the baseball is you have to let the ball travel. Let the ball get deep, okay? An easy way to get around the baseball and not stay inside of it, but rather get outside of it is by trying to go out and get the pitch, okay? If you're out on your front foot, if you're not letting the ball travel and actually get into the zone, if, you're, if everything's out here, then there's no way to stay inside the baseball effectively, okay? We want to ideally, if this was a pitch, you know, uh, and it's in the hitting zone right now and it's right in the middle uh, of the plate, um, ideally, I would wanna hit that pitch pretty much even with my front foot, kinda like my instep there. That's ideally where I'd wanna hit that pitch. So let the ball get there, okay? I don't wanna hit that pitch you know, way out here because as you can already see, my barrel's around hitting the outside part of the baseball there if I'm out in front. So that's uh, rule number one, let the ball travel, guys. It's much better to be, when you're working on your timing and staying inside the baseball, it's much better to be late and hit the ball back here and hit it down the opposite field line than to be way early and that's gonna, you know, you're gonna get around the baseball and it's just gonna cause rollovers and mistakes and things like that. So that's thing number one, let the ball travel. Um, another thing is when you look at a baseball, right, you want to hit the inside part of the baseball. You may have heard that term before, but if the pitch, if I'm a right-handed hitter and the pitch is coming at me, where I wanna hit that baseball ideally is the inside part of the baseball, which is right here for a right-handed hitter. Okay, if I focus on hitting the inside part of the baseball slightly below the equator of the ball, boom, just like that, that's gonna generate the most bat speed for me. So try and focus on hitting the inside part of the baseball and driving the ball wherever it's pitched. Hit the ball where it's pitched. That's the next thing I wanna talk about. If the pitch is inside, there's no sense in trying to you know, keep your hands inside the ball and hit a dinker to the opposite field. If the pitch is inside, what we wanna do is we wanna get the barrel out there and we wanna pull that. Those are the balls that you, know, you, you hit over the fence with ridiculous backspin and things like that. So um, if the ball's inside, pull it. If the ball is right down the middle of the plate, let the ball travel and hit it right back up directly towards the pitcher. If it's away, if it's on the outer half, we're gonna let the ball travel even more and we're gonna hit it a little bit back here and we're gonna hit it to the opposite field, okay? Let the ball travel and hit the ball where it's pitched. Stay within yourself at the plate, which means don't try and do too much. You know, if you're five foot two and you know, 100 pounds soaking wet, you're probably not gonna put a lot of balls out of the ballpark, so stay within yourself, do what you can do. You have to understand what kind of player you are, what kind of hitter you are, um, and you know, something else that really, really helps me as far as staying inside the baseball guys is try to stay connected. What I mean by staying connected is the closer you are to your body, the closer everything is to your body, the stronger you are. You're much stronger in a position like this where my hands and my elbow, this elbow here is tucked into my body. That's a much stronger position there than if, if I'm out like this, okay? That's a very weak position. Just think about if this was a tree standing up and I had an ax and I was gonna chop the tree. I wouldn't chop the tree by having my hands completely extended out here because that's not a powerful position. What I would do is I'd take a you know aggressive uh, you know stride towards the tree right there and I'd keep everything connected like this and that's gonna deliver the most force, okay? And if you watch me from behind, if I'm hitting the ball this way, um, if I stay connected, that means that automatically my hands and everything else, if they stay close to my body, I'm going to be inside the baseball there. My hands, I'm going to be able to keep everything inside the baseball. Whereas if I do this, if I go to my low to my stride and my first move is out like this, out over the plate, then there's no way I'm going to stay inside that baseball. Okay, so that's really, really important. Stay connected. 
The final thing that I wanted to talk about is the knob. You've probably heard before that a good way to stay inside the baseball or how to hit in general is to throw the knob, bring the knob to the ball. Now, I have a, a little bit of a different point of view on this. I think a better terminology uh, to use is knob towards the pitcher. Here's what I mean by that. So again, the ball is placed on the tee right here. If I literally, and, I, and I'm taking this to the extreme here, if I literally take my knob to that baseball, what we just talked about staying connected, I'm automatically not connected here. If I directly take my knob to the baseball, I'm not connected. And then if the barrel truly follows the knob, the barrel's way out there. I'm gonna hit that literally right there. That's not on the sweet spot of my bat. So if I, if I literally think about bringing the knob to the ball, that's not gonna keep me connected. What is gonna keep me connected is if I think about the knob to the pitcher, okay? Whether it's inside, whether it's right down the middle, whether it's outside. If I take the knob towards the pitcher, boom, look how much of a stronger and more connected position that is right there. Knob to the pitcher, boom, I'm gonna be able to stay inside that baseball much better. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you've picked up a thing or two. These are just some basic tips on how to stay inside the baseball to drive the ball with authority and with backspin. So if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and also leave your comments below. And I have a free gift for you. I wanna share with you one trick that you can add to your swing right now today to improve your bat speed 10 to 15 miles an hour. It's 100% free. All I need you to do is click on the image right here. That'll take you to my website. All I need is your email address and I'll immediately send you that free video. If you're on your phone, click on the first link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.